हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी लर्न अबाउट द ऑटोमेटिक क्रिएशन ऑफ परचेज ऑर्डर इन केस ऑफ डूइंग अ गुड्स रिसीट सो दिस प्रोसेस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट वेन यू आर नॉट इशूइंग एनी पी ओ टू द वेंडर एंड यू आर डायरेक्टली आस्किंग द वेंडर टू सप्लाई द मटीरियल बट द फर्दर प्रोसेस आफ्टर जी आर विल हैपन थ्रू द परचेज ऑर्डर दैट इज यू हैव वर्बली टोल द वेंडर टू सप्लाई द मटीरियल एंड द वेंडर इज सप्लाइंग यू द मटीरियल अगेंस्ट अ पर्टिकुलर फिक्स प्राइस विच हैज़ बीन एंटर्ड इन टू द इन्फो रिकॉर्ड एंड वंस यू रिसीव द मटीरियल एट दैट टाइम सिस्टम ऑटोमेटिकली क्रिएट्स अ परचेज ऑर्डर विच कंटेन्स ऑल द डिटेल्स and then against that purchase order you will process the invoice of the vendor okay so let's start so the first step in automatic creation of purchase order is we'll have to assign a standard purchase organization to the plant so we'll go to spro we'll go to sap reference img enterprise structure assignment materials management and assign standard purchase organization to the plant so if we execute this let's see whether our plant is assigned to a standard purchase organization or not so we can see that a purchase organization is assigned to the plant here then our next step will be to check what is the default document type for migo transaction okay because system will pick up the document type that is the purchase order document type and we'll do the gr so to do that we'll go to materials management then purchasing and then we'll see here define define default value for document types so we'll go here and we have to assign a document type to the transaction mb01 because when we do the gr through migo in the background system opens this t code mb01 only and whatever document type is assigned to this particular t code system will pick up that document type to create the purchase order then in the next step what we have to do is we have to check whether the movement type is also defined for automatic po creation or not so for that we'll go to the inventory management inventory management and physical inventory and then we'll go to goods receipt and then we have to go to create purchase order automatically so if you go here we have to mark 101 movement type for automatic purchase order so we can see that 101 is already marked as automatic po here now two more things we have to do is we have to mark automatic po indicator in the material master and in the vendor master so to see that we'll go to mm02 to the material master then we'll go to the purchasing view we'll enter the plant and here you can see this check box is here automatic po this we have to select and we'll save then next step we have to mark automatic po in the vendor master also so we'll go to bp we'll enter the vendor code here and in the purchasing view we have to go to the purchasing area and here we'll mark the automatic po indicator you can see here the automatic purchase order indicator is here so we'll mark it here and then save now once we have done all these settings then we have to create a info record from where the prices will be picked when we'll be doing the gr and automatic po will get created so we'll create info record so we'll go to me11 we'll enter the supplier material purchase organization and plant and we'll create under standard info category now here we'll enter the prices so let's enter some price here then some standard quantity we have to enter and then we'll save this info record now that info record is saved we'll do the gr of this material and system will create automatic po in the background let's see that so we'll go to migo then goods receipt against purchase order the movement type should be 101 and here you can see a button is here to enter non ordered items in this gr document so we'll click on this non ordered item then we'll enter a material code quantity let's enter 10 quantities then we have to enter movement type as 101 here plant then storage location
and here we have to enter the vendor code okay the vendor which is supplying you the material so we enter the vendor code here and let's check this document so everything looks fine so we'll pause this document and see whether automatic po creation happens in the background or not so we'll pause this document Now let's display this document. Now you can see here purchase order data tab is here. If you go to this tab, you can see a purchase order has been created in the background. And if I double click here, I can go to this PO. So you can see here the material code is here, the quantity that we entered in the GR document and the price which has come from the info record. Okay, the material group, everything is taken from the material master in the header if you go the purchase group has been taken from the material master the purchase organization is the standard purchase organization which we assign to the plant and the company code is taken from the plant if you go to the purchase order history you can see this gr document through which this po got created and the next step we can do miro and the payment processing for this particular po so this is how you create automatic po through doing a gr of a material i hope that you have liked this video if you like my video then please like and subscribe to my channel and please share to your friends so that my videos get maximum reach. Thank you for supporting me. Thanks a lot.